Well, it was a long day of testimony that just wrapped up for former White House counsel Pat Cipollone. For more than eight hours, he met behind closed doors with House Select Committee members. It's investigating the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Former White House aide Cassidy Hutchinson testified last week that Cipollone had raised legal concerns about then-President Trump's actions on and before January 6th. Here's CBS's Scott McFarland. Outside the meeting room, Pat Cipollone wouldn't answer reporters' questions. Did you discuss pardons, sir, and members of Congress who asked for them? But the big question is, how much did he answer inside? In a day-long session with the House January 6th committee, more than a week after he was subpoenaed, and after former White House aide Cassidy Hutchinson testified, Cipollone warned on January 6th Trump would face criminal exposure if he went to the Capitol. We're going to get charged with every crime imaginable. Committee members told CBS News they expected Cipollone to testify about what he witnessed firsthand January 6th. Is it tricky for a White House counsel to answer questions from a congressional panel? It is very, uh, very tricky. Richard Painter was a member of the White House counsel's office for former President George W. Bush and said Cipollone might invoke privilege if asked directly about warning Trump about possible crimes. Uh, this is a very uh, difficult situation uh, that Congress will have to handle. Uh, with a, a substantial amount of delicacy in order to get the information uh, that they need without invading unduly on the attorney-client privilege. Meanwhile, police in Virginia have just released body camera video of the search on the home of Trump Justice Department official Jeffrey Clark last month. Can I call my lawyer? Sure. Uh, Come on outside and do it. Clark has also been a focus of the January 6th committee amid allegations he was part of an attempted 11th hour shakeup in the Justice Department, which would have made him the acting U.S. Attorney General. And he was the focus of a previous committee hearing. The Justice Department wouldn't comment on the search. The committee's next hearing is set for Tuesday and will focus on the mobilization of the mob on January 6th, including by far-right groups and domestic violent extremists. Jerika? Scott, thank you.